Welcome back to my channel, Learn with Professor Janula. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. In today's video, we're going to learn about the management during second stage of labor. Let's get started. In the second stage of labor, our main focus is making sure the baby is delivered safely while also keeping the mother as comfortable as possible and preventing any problems. This stage is very important because things can change quickly, so the healthcare team needs to watch the mother and baby closely. With continuous observation and proper skills, we can support the mother effectively, guide her through pushing, and quickly manage any complications that may arise, ensuring a safe and smooth delivery for both mother and baby. During the second stage of labor, we closely monitor the mother to make sure everything is progressing safely. We regularly check the uterine contractions by noting how often they occur, how long they last, and how strong they are. At the same time, we keep an eye on vital signs like blood pressure, pulse, breathing, and temperature to detect any early changes. We also observe how effectively the mother is bearing down during contractions, assess whether her bladder is full, and encourage her to empty it if needed, and watch carefully for any signs of exhaustion or distress so we can give timely support and help her cope better during this stage. Along with monitoring the mother, we also pay close attention to the baby during the second stage of labor. The fetal heart rate is checked after every contraction, or at least every five minutes, to make sure the baby is coping well with labor. While doing this, we carefully watch for any signs of fetal distress, such as the heart rate becoming too slow or too fast, so that immediate action can be taken to protect the baby and ensure a safe delivery. As the delivery gets closer, we start preparing the area to make sure everything is clean, safe, and ready for the baby's arrival. This includes setting up the delivery area, arranging sterile instruments, and making sure essential items like sterile gloves, the delivery tray, and neonatal resuscitation equipment are easily available. Throughout this process, we strictly follow aseptic techniques to prevent infection, while also ensuring the mother's privacy and giving her emotional support so she feels safe, respected, and reassured during this important moment. P. Positioning the mother properly during the second stage of labor plays a big role in making delivery easier and more comfortable. We encourage the mother to choose positions that feel comfortable and work well for her, such as lithotomy, squatting, semi-recumbent, or side-lying. The right position helps her push more effectively, allows the baby to move down smoothly through the birth canal, and reduces tiredness, making the whole process less exhausting and more manageable for the mother. During this stage, support and coaching are very important to help the mother work effectively with her contractions. We encourage her to bear down properly during each contraction and guide her on the correct pushing technique by asking her to take a deep breath, hold it, and push downward in a controlled way. We also remind her to relax and rest between contractions so she can save her energy. Throughout the process, we provide continuous reassurance, motivation, and encouragement, which helps boost her confidence and makes the experience less stressful and more manageable. Care of the perineum during the second stage of labor is very important to ensure a safe and smooth delivery. We make sure the area is kept clean and aseptic to reduce the risk of infection. Gentle support is given to the perineum to help prevent tears and to control the delivery of the baby's head in a slow and safe manner. If needed, an episiotomy is performed according to institutional policy to facilitate delivery and protect the tissues, always keeping the mother's safety and comfort in mind. During the actual delivery, we carefully observe for crowning, which tells us that the baby's head is about to be born. At this point, we support a slow and controlled delivery of the head to protect both the baby and the mother. We also quickly check if the umbilical cord is around the baby's neck and manage it safely if present. Once the head is delivered, we assist with the birth of the shoulders and the rest of the body, 
and finally, we make sure to note the exact time of birth as an important part of documentation. Immediately after birth, our focus shifts to the newborn's care to help the baby adjust smoothly to life outside the womb. We dry the baby right away to prevent heat loss and assess the APGAR score to check breathing, heart rate, and overall condition. If needed, the airway is gently cleared to help the baby breathe well. The umbilical cord is then clamped and cut safely, and skin-to-skin -skin contact with the mother is started as soon as possible. We also encourage early breastfeeding, which helps with bonding, keeps the baby warm, and supports early nutrition and immunity. Preventing complications during the second stage of labor is all about being alert and proactive. We help prevent maternal exhaustion by encouraging proper rest, effective pushing, and continuous support. Careful techniques are used to protect the perineum and reduce the risk of injury. At the same time, we stay watchful for early signs of problems such as fetal distress, shoulder dystocia, or postpartum hemorrhage so that quick and timely interventions can be done to keep both the mother and baby safe. Documentation is an important part of care during and after the second stage of labor. We carefully record how long the second stage lasted, note the condition of both the mother and the baby throughout the process, and clearly mention the exact time of birth. The condition of the newborn at birth is also documented, along with any procedures or interventions that were carried out. Accurate documentation helps ensure continuity of care and serves as a clear record for future reference. Continuous monitoring means the nurse is always observing both the mother and the baby throughout the second stage of labor. This includes checking the mother's vital signs, progress of labor, and watching the fetal heart rate regularly so that any changes or problems can be identified early and managed quickly. Emotional support involves staying close to the mother, talking to her calmly, encouraging her, and reassuring her during contractions and pushing. This support helps reduce fear and anxiety, builds confidence, and makes the mother feel safe and supported during labor. Maintenance of asepsis refers to strictly following clean and sterile techniques during all procedures. This includes proper hand hygiene, use of sterile gloves and instruments, and keeping the delivery area clean to prevent infections in both the mother and the newborn. Safe conduct of delivery means assisting the birth process carefully and skillfully. The nurse helps in controlled delivery of the baby protects the perineum, watches for complications, and works closely with the healthcare team to ensure the safety of both mother and baby. Early newborn care focuses on the baby immediately after birth. This includes drying the baby, assessing breathing and APGAR score, maintaining warmth, initiating skin-to-skin -skin contact, supporting early breastfeeding and ensuring the newborn makes a smooth and healthy transition after birth. Thank you for watching. I hope this session helped you understand the nursing management of the second stage of labor in a clear and practical way. If you found the explanation useful, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more learning content.